Better looking bitches than you're used to, Uncle. <laughs> My mother's been looking for you. She arrived for King's Landing today. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. What good will my sympathies do then? None. But it is expected of you. Your absence has already been noted. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. <laughs> One word, and I hit you again. I'm telling Mother! Go. Tell her. But first you will get to Lord and Lady Stark, and you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are, that you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. Do you understand? You can't. Do you understand? The prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. If he forgets, be a good dog and remind him. Time for breakfast. Rough night, Imp. If I get through this without scratching from one end or the other, it'll be a miracle. I didn't pick you for a hunter. You're the greatest in the land. My spear never misses. It's not hunting if you pay for it. Did you, sir? Why won't he speak to he me? He hasn't been very talkative these last 20 years, since the Mad King had his tongue ripped out with hot pincers. Speaks to... The butcher's boy. You rode him down. He ran. Not very fast. My life, sir. I'm not, sir. Stay away from me. I'll tell my father. I'll... I'll tell the queen. <laughs> Who do you think sent me? You look quite nice. Thank you, my lord. Your no! grace. I'm king now. No! Walk with me. I want to show you something. Do as you bid, child. And as soon as you've had your blood, I'll put a son in you. 
Mother says that shouldn't be long. Will you obey now? Or do you need another lesson? I'll look for you in court. Save yourself some pain, girl. Give him what he wants. You'll be needing that again.